Above all, it's, it's a holistic education. It's an education not designed just to pass exams, although we will um, see that as, as a huge part of what we do, but it's, it's everything that, that we provide here, from the co-curricular to um, the, the faithful living and the, all, all the other aspects of life here at Turing. We really train the body, the mind, the heart and the soul. We've undergone a huge transformation in the prep school in general actually. Uh, what we've done is uh, moved away from the summative assessment of the uh, CE exams and made a much more ongoing process uh, designed at training the students' mind, training them to become mathematicians, not just to answer mathematical questions. Um, to do that we've uh, restructured our timetable somewhat. Uh, we created this year a uh, numeracy lesson where our students would be grouped by their ability in the four basic operations of mathematics. Um, that's there to support our students with that numer numerical understanding, their basic arithmetic, make sure that those skills are solid, make sure we're able to deliver questions and uh, lessons that are targeted at them that can really help them to develop. We then have uh, a lesson using the my Maths online learning platform. Uh, we've been using that through Key Stage 3 in the prep school for the last three years. It's been very successful with students can engage with it either in the lesson when the teacher is there or also at home or in our case in the boarding houses and when they're doing prep in the evenings during a normal situation. Obviously it's been a great boast having that available to us now during uh, this very different situation. Um, we also have a, a, a very much more traditional lesson which is very paper based and uh, problem solving and, and that kind of thing, probably the kind of thing that you're familiar with when you were at school. And then finally our, our last maths lesson of the week uh, is involved in what we call investigations. And these are where we pose our students more open ended questions, again teaching them to think like mathematicians. Um, to solve problems where the, the answer isn't necessarily immediately obvious, it's going to take a little bit more time and we help to try and guide them through that to develop them as mathematical thinkers. We're really happy with the successes that we've seen. Um, last year when we were doing our standardised online assessment for the Year 7s who are our pilot, now our Year 8s, our pilot uh, group, they exhibited um, eight points above expected progress in mathematics last year, which is um, pretty much unprecedented. We found that the program that we devised has actually shifted to the online platform pretty well. We've been able to uh, maintain our structure of the week and our lessons, our four lessons throughout the week have, have continued pretty much the same. We've continued to use the uh, online tools that we have had before and developed a few more. So um, we still have our numeracy lesson, the students are engaged in practicing that, those skills with the four operations which just form that foundation. We can still have a my maths lesson, that works very well. Um, we then do uh, a, a session of practice questions. Our students are getting better and better at um, taking screenshots of areas where they're having difficulty and then contacting the teachers um, directly. We're able, because of our, our small class size here at Turing, we're able to answer all of our students' queries pretty much um, there and then. We don't get overwhelmed with, uh, with, with too many questions because we have three teachers present in every lesson, plus an extra two people supporting. So, so there's a good number of, of adults there to support teach, uh, students with any questions that they may have. Uh, we then do our practice questions lesson and finally our investigations. One other thing that we do is at the end of each lesson, um, or, or towards the end of the week, we provide extension questions for our, our more able students to really stretch themselves and, and try and do the very best that they can and show their mathematical understanding. Um, the, the maths team here for Key Stage 3 have been amazing. Um, our, our head of maths, Mr. McPherson, is the one who devised the, the change in the timetable and the change in the groupings to support that numeracy. And Mrs. Levine and Mr. Morgan have been absolutely amazing in supporting students who are at their most able and uh, able to really stretch those people um, and also supporting all of our students who, who don't perhaps find maths quite as straightforward. Their ability to differentiate those lessons really leaves me in awe of them. They're, they're, they're fantastic colleagues to work alongside. It's a, it's a wonderful team to be part of. Um, two of our real success stories are Campsie and Wan Boy. 
amazing students who uh, experienced tremendous success at the uh, Maths Challenge down in Kenton at the beginning of the year. Um, they're two of the most gifted students I've ever worked with as mathematicians. Uh, Campsy has worked with Mr Morgan since he arrived at the school. One boy has been in my class uh, since she moved into year seven. Um, their quality of response, their depth of thinking, their way of answering questions, their uh, diligence at, at all they do, mark them out as, as two young people who are going to be mathematicians going forward in their lives, whether that's as a profession or, or as a hobby, I don't know, but they are two very capable. The main challenges for online learning uh, relate to our African environment, if I'm honest. Uh, I came here from working in South Korea, where 5G has been around for so long and um, connectivity is, is everywhere. Um, I have to say I applaud our parents for their diligence and our students for their commitment and their diligence to overcome the kind of power issues and connectivity issues that we all experience here in East Africa is just heartwarming to see. Their, their commitment is fantastic and their self-discipline to turn up and overcome problems to keep us informed and um, the number of times students go back and they lose connectivity during a lesson or they lose power during a lesson, I'll get a, a message a couple of days later saying, oh, I've done that work, so can you just check and, and uh, check that it's done? 